What's going on guys back at you with another video and today we're going to go over the Warriors Versus Kings and then Lakers Grizzlies. Let's go over this game first So with this game the Warriors got dominated like the Kings Dominated them at home guys like they took it to them. They really showed them that they're actually the better team Like the Warriors have more experience. They have better shooting But are they a better team? I don't know, guys. They have Clay, Wiggins, and Curry. Those are the three guys. That's their scoring right there. If you can minimize one of them, you can beat them. And they minimized Wiggins, so they won. If you can hold Clay to 20, Wiggins under 15 points, you have a chance, guys. You have a real chance if you can do that. And that's why I think the Lakers can beat either one of these teams, guys. <clears throat> it's going to be a great series, nonetheless. It's going to be a wonderful series. Whenever LeBron plays the Warriors, it's always a great series. Always. No matter what. So it's going to be a treat. Now, if the Lakers play the Kings, that will also be a treat. But then I think the Lakers will beat them. I think this playoffs is set up for LeBron to make one last hurrah. I've been saying that from the beginning. I think they want him to just have long, grueling series or series where he wins in six or seven, and then he claims the championship. I think that's what's going to happen. They're going to send them off with one more championship. So with this, if they played the Kings, I think it would be a little bit of a worse matchup for them because De'Aaron Fox has been killing them for the last couple of years. I think the Kings is a worse matchup for the Lakers because of the speed and the way they play. I think they can be a better matchup for the Warriors because they're an older team. They don't run as much. They're more a half-court team. So they run set plays. You just got to guard that perimeter. Maybe just let Curry go off and then just lock everyone else down. You win the game because no player can score more than like 50, 60 points, guys. Like If you lock everyone else down, hold everyone else to like 5, 6, no more than 10 points, and just let Curry do his thing, you can win the game. You really can, because on this team, they're a good team defensive. Like, they're good at team defense, but not one person is a defensive stud. Like, they don't have that. Maybe Draymond, but it's one guy. Clay's not the defender he used to be because of his knees. Wiggins is an athlete. Like, he's really good, too, on defense, but he gets tired, and he's still getting his legs back. So, I, I think it's going to be a better series than people think. I think the second series is... I don't know about the Sun series. I think the Sun should be able to handle the Nuggets. But that's going to be a good series, though. I, the more I think about it, that series is going to be really good. I think it's going to be the Suns versus the Lakers, though. I think that, that'll that get eyes on the TV. That'll be a good matchup, guys. Like, that'll be a really good matchup. Because the Lakers are more of a playoff team. They're not a regular season team, guys, at all. They're built for the playoffs. A lot of these teams are built for the regular season. Like, the Kings, they're more regular season. The Grizzlies, that's a regular season team. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. They're, they're a ca they play well against casual defenses, casual sets. But when you have time to game plan and it's a series, it's different. You're throwing different things at them. It's different tempo, different pressure. It's not going to be just lollygagged. So that's why the Lakers are built for the playoffs. So, uh, with this, I, I I don't know who's going to win Game 7. I'm going to watch, obviously. it will be on tomorrow. I just can't put my finger on who the NBA wants more. At first, you're thinking, oh, the Warriors' time's up. They go up 2 nothing, and then the Warriors come back. Then it's tied up again. It's like, what does the NBA want here? Now they have the Kings destroy them at home. That makes you think that the Kings will handle them when they go back to Sacramento. But at the same time, it's the Warriors, so you can't count them out. It's like they had a bad game. Are they going to have another bad game? I don't see it. Just because of out of respect for the Warriors and their dynasty, I'm picking the Warriors. But don't be surprised if the Kings win, guys. I'm only picking the Warriors out of respect of what they've done. That's it. No other reason. I think the Kings are the better team, though. All right, now let's talk about this Lakers game. They took care of business. They beat this team by 40 points, guys. 40, guys. A 40-piece. And the, the game before, they didn't show up. It's almost like the Lakers are like, I don't want to win here. Let's win at home. The Lakers are a home team, guys. And if they play the Warriors, that's a home series. Actually, Kings and the Warriors, they're both home-playing teams. They don't play well away. 
So the next series is going to be a home series. So let's see here. Jaron Jackson didn't have a double-double. See, when Jaron Jackson doesn't get at least, at least 10 rebounds, you know that this team lost. Dylan Brooks, terrible. Uh, Tillman, see, Tillman had two points. Remember he, that other game when they lost? He had like 30 points. Like It's like, dude, you can't let guys like this go off like that. Desmond Bain, right back down to earth. That's more like it. This is more like him. Ja had 10 points, so he was told to lose this game. And that's what happens. When Ja doesn't show up, their team just doesn't have the juice, man. They just don't. And Ja had his hood on after the game. It was almost like he was told to blow this game. Like, he looked very pissed off. Like, ah, man, this is fucked. NBA wants me to throw the game. Because everyone was probably betting the Grizzlies to come back and win. So the NBA is like, nope, Lakers. Decisively. Now over here, D'Angelo Russell, man. If they can get this guy to just play like this every game. Or at least if you can get D'Angelo to give you 15, 20 points every game, that literally changes everything. Because Austin Reeves, I trust him. He's going to give you 10, 15, 20 points. He's going to get you 8, 10 assists, rebound. He's a hard nose player. I really like this guy, Austin Reeves. He's one of my favorite players on this team, guys. Like, he is just, I don't know. He's just, there's something about him. He's just everywhere. He does what he needs to do. He's a great fundamental basketball player. He doesn't bullshit around right to the point, guys. I, I really, I, I can get behind this, guys. D'Angelo is playing much better, too. But the Warriors know him, so that's the only thing I'm worried about. The Warriors have scouts on him, so they know. He was on the Warriors for what, a couple years, right? So they know his weaknesses. They know exactly how to attack him, what he sucks at, what he's good at. So they're going to force him to play left-handed. Well, in this case, right-handed because he is left-handed. So, yeah, that, that's that's great, though. He's the reason they won, guys, because you take they won by 40, right? You take away his points, it's a 10-point game. So, I don't, Troy Brown probably came in with, yeah, these guys all came in with garbage points. I'd like to see Muhammad Bamba play more. Like, I think against the Suns and, like, the bigger teams, like, if you play the Suns, because they have uh, Aiton, and if you play the Nuggets, you're going to need a bigger guy like Muhammad Bamba. He's seven foot tall. He can shoot threes, long player. I'm surprised he hasn't been worked in it. Like, honestly, you could put him at the five, but Vanderbilt is only 6'9". He's not huge, but you, I would rather put Bamba at the five, Davis at the four, Braun at the three, and then you got uh, Reeves and Russell. That's that's how I would start it because Bamba, he's got that length, man. He's crazy. He can move, too. Dennis Schroeder gave you nothing. A lot of question marks on the bench. Hiramacha. Haracha Muro, however you say his name, came down to earth. But he's another 6'8", six, 6'9", six, lengthy player. And they got a lot of length on this team, guys. Malik Beasley's lengthy, can shoot. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. This team is sneaky good, guys. I think this team could win a championship. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, guys. This team might be a little bit better than that championship team they had before. It's close. It's close. Other than that, guys... Stay tuned and for the next game on tomorrow with the Warriors and uh, the Kings. Also, enjoy the draft. We're also going to have a breakdown for you for the NFL tomorrow coming. After this whole draft is done, we're going to look at all the picks and then decide who's going to do what this year in each division. We'll probably start off with the AFC East tomorrow. I'll probably do maybe two divisions tomorrow, maybe. Or maybe we'll do one division every day just so... Uh, it's not all crammed into one video, and it's more concise. So we'll probably do, so what, there's eight divisions? So, yeah, we'll do eight videos starting tomorrow. It'll take about eight days, obviously, to get them all done. So about a week or so, we'll have them all out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.